Hey, what's up? What's up? What's up? It's August 10th, 2021 up here in Big Bear. I'm on Fox Farm Road. We just got kicked off the golf course. Um, because of thunder, not because we're idiots, but because of thunder. It was really cool. Some uh, random dude joined us today and uh, dude was just smoking the ball. It was, it was really, really nice to watch because that's how I used to play golf. And it was just it was really nice. I think he shot like three under. Really, like, I mean, yeah, it's not the toughest course, but you know, you gotta hit the ball straight, and uh, yeah, you did a good job, really good job. But anyway, we're getting a little rain, a little thunder and lightning. The reason why I kicked off the kicked off the course is because of the thunder and the lightning. So, uh, the lightning and the thunder. So we're in the Moon Ridge area, and we're gonna kind of drive up into Upper Moon Ridge a little bit. Uh, hang on, let me see how this looks like. It's a lot better without the glare, but it's okay. So we're gonna go into Upper Moon Ridge and come back around because that's where the storm is. Much, but the lightning looked pretty awesome while we were on the course. That's probably why they kicked us off. As soon as I heard the loud crack of thunder, I was like, all right, well, they're gonna come get us now. Five minutes later, they're you see their carts coming from the clubhouse. Get inside! Get inside! It's all good. Look at that right there, man. So dark and beautiful. Yeah, we're gonna go up in Upper Moon Ridge and then go back down the other side of Moon Ridge. So we're gonna turn right here on a street called Butte, B-U-T-T-E, right behind this guy. Oh, and I know this, Barney. Toolbox, this guy's a tool ahead of us. Sorry, I don't usually talk smack, but because I like everybody, but there's a few people in this, in this world who, uh, I guess it doesn't make me a better person to talk smack. Or the total opposite, but yeah, just a bunch of, uh, I don't know. What's that word? Like tweaker? Or, yeah, it's, it's, it's unfortunate, man. It's unfortunate, but it happens up here. I guess, the, you know, every town has their issues. But some parts of this town, like uh, the, the area called Sugarloaf, when I first moved up here, it, it, it kind of scared me because people said, oh, you're going to Tweaker Loaf? And I'm like, what are you talking about? And, and they're like, oh yeah, it's just so so much drugs up there. And I mean, personally, I've, I've been up there a lot and it, it seems like a really nice little place. So I don't know what, what everyone's tripping on, but yeah, of course in every town you're gonna have your addicts. You know, that just is what it is. But to, to denigrate a whole little community like that by calling it, <laughs> weaker loaf just not cool <laughs> even though apparently it was the truth um and even locals up there call it tweaker loaf so but anyway i don't know what the hell i'm talking about right now not making any sense look at all these for sale signs it's like every house and then airbnb it's just seriously guys like Let's see. Oh, that's a house owned by somebody. Wow, amazing. Airbnb, Airbnb. That might be an owner's play. Someone owns that here. That's an Airbnb for sale. Like everything in here, man. And yet there's nothing for like, uh, but people can't find any places to live. It's just crazy how, you know, how things work up here. It seems like there's so many vacant places, but yet people are homeless. I, I just don't get it. Yeah, I do understand that people have investment properties and I completely am, I, I, I understand that. It's just, it just sucks when we have a bunch of people up here who have had to move off the mountain because of the whole Airbnb thing. But you know, that's just me feeling for them. That's all. Nope not a big deal as I said like I want to be in a position to buy real
real estate and invest and stuff like that. Like that's, if you wanna make money in life and if you wanna have a, a fiscal free future, just be free, a fiscally free life, like uh, you'll be, uh, that's what you wanna do. Anyway, I don't know where the heck I am. I, I don't remember being on this part of Menlo before. So this is pretty neat. Looking down on the golf course and Bear Mountain. There's Bear right here. And we're heading deeper into what should be the heaviest parts of this little thunderstorm. Oh, look at that view. Look at these houses views right here, man. Shh. You hear the thunder? I love lightning, it's so awesome. All right guys, let's see here. Man, hear the thunder again? Guys, I played so horrible. I've been playing so horrible my golf game. I'm driving the ball maybe 290, 300, so that's fine. And I'm, I'm, I'm hitting the ball pretty much in the fairway. Yeah, like lots of them are like just on the just on the edge, so I'm still hitting out of really short stuff. Perfect for my ball. Um, I just don't know what 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 the hell's going on, man. Like, uh, I used to have such a good game. I used to be a 1.2 handicap when I had my SCGA handicap, and uh, I mean, I don't pack that score at all. Like, that's the most dumb. I was gonna use a p in, in a politically incorrect word. The word was called retarded. I was gonna use like uh, it, it's it's yeah yeah. Never mind. I'm gonna get myself into trouble. Not even trying to be mean, because I'm not mean. I got a lot of my own issues and just stuff that I don't know. <laughs> but I sometimes feel like people out there golfing. They just. Yeah, like they lie about how good they are when they're when they're like trying to play in tournaments and this and that. And you know, like what they don't understand is when you're sandbagging, that's the classic name for that in golf. When you're sandbagging, um I mean, whenever you enter a tournament, you're never going to win. You will never ever even have a chance because you're not playing to your level. You're saying you're so much better, but then when the tournament comes and everyone has their own handicaps out there, you're never going to have a chance. And so people screw themselves over and over again just by saying, yeah, I'm a five handicap, I'm a six handicap and stuff. Like, shoot, today I had a really horrible hole. Usually I birdie or part of this hole. I hit a 10 on the hole, but I mark it as a 10. You know, and then if I hit my my fairway in regulation, if I hit my green in regulation, fairway in regulation is obviously your tee shot needs to be in the fairway. So, but on a par five, your green in regulation can be in on three. So, um, but I'm usually there in two. I was there in two again on our first par five, which it's not saying much, but anyway, it just sucks when you were really good at something, you guys, and then like someone else from outside comes in and and like I don't know. I'm very competitive. I do not like to lose. I hate losing more than I like winning. Let's let's put it that way. I don't like to lose, but I was always so good at all the sports I ever played. I don't know why I'm even talking all this crap. I'm not trying to like bolster myself. I'm just, I don't know. I'm just talking like I always do. All right, hang on for a quick sec. All right, guys. I'm sorry I had to take that call. So what we're gonna do here, do I, what tree is this, Menlo? Oh, we know we already did that. We already did that, remember? Okay. We already did that. So this is taking us back to, oh yeah, okay, I know where we're at. We're on Butte. We're back on Butte right now, about to make a left on Villa Grove. Villa Grovey. What's up, Villa Grovey? And guys, forgive me, I, I was not trying to be mean when I was like talking about that guy in front of me who I don't like. <clears throat> Honestly, it's got nothing to do with the uh, with the fact that, you know, with the 
dude appears to be into heavy stuff. It's just when someone does something nice for you and helps you out and then you say you'll get them back at a certain point and then you don't even bother having enough respect to let them know, hey, I need more time or something like that and you just ignore them. Well, those are people that I don't like. Like, I don't like those people at all. So, anyway. I mean, seriously, once again, I know I'm like probably bringing this down right now and I'm not trying to, but I just, oh shit, sorry, sorry. Sorry! bring you guys down i just want you guys to know exactly who i am and uh when i was telling you guys about that guy earlier it may have sounded like i'm being a judgmental jerk for no reason there is a reason doesn't mean two wrongs make a right i know that i know that i know this yes i know oh i know okay what street is this um i'm not sure i i know i've been on it a lot of times Look at all these houses for sale. Jeez Louise. Again. This guy's got all these houses for sale. From being in the real estate field many years down the hill, uh, like having a lot of listings down there, that's pretty dynamic and awesome. Up here, it's awesome. It shows you work hard, but like it's uh it now if you can move all these properties, then you are the freaking man or woman for sure. Damn big bear. All right, so we're going to drive by the golf course in Bear Mountain like right at the area where we were kicked out. Because of the weather. Listen to that thunder. How can we listen to it when you don't shut the fuck up, Nick? And I, I didn't say the F word. I said, if you don't shut the fuck up. I didn't say the whole thing. I said, that's all. I know I'm pushing it. I'm pushing it. I'm pushing it. Okay, here's our beautiful little golf course. Part of it, at least. And, oh, I saw a bear here yesterday at the course. As soon as I showed up, it was freaking right here on the first hole where that dirt is next to that, that orange house, that wooden house right there. That orange house. What the hell kind of description is that? There was a bear, you guys, and I didn't get it on video, but one of my friends who works at the golf course got it on video. Dude, the guy who works there, who I, I, I refer to as my friend, when I used to work at Bear Mountain, he, he made a comment one day like he walked down from the marketing uh, department because he was a manager up there or like ran it. And he said, bro, the way you treat our, our guests and our customers is absolutely unbelievable. I've never seen anything like it. Thank you so much for what you do for us. You guys, that, that compliment changed my life. Just that one thing he said. So don't think that, yeah, guys, saying something nice to someone and patting them on the back once in a while is a life changer. It completely transformed my, my whole life. Just that one little comment. So any of you who employ people and they piss you off or something, seriously, like like my my technique when something's done wrong is I'll, I'll pull them aside and just say, look, Mike or Sarah, you do such an incredible job for our company and everything and every ounce of effort that you put into this keeps us afloat. And I can't thank you enough. And I can't thank you enough. Yeah, sorry, the camera freaking overheated. So like my, like, because what that dude said to me, it changed everything for me. So that made me want to, when I own businesses, to really do what I felt like was the right thing to do anyway. So I confront my employees in the past or whatever I've, I've had them. If they're not doing something right, I compliment them on everything that they're doing right for the business and everything that they do helps our company out big time and without them, we're a sinking ship. And if there was one thing, like one thing basic that I could ask that you could improve is like maybe, you know, um, when you're coming up to a customer's house, make sure you you do call me when you're one minute away so I can let them know. Other than that, bro, without your help and without everything you do, we are, we are a sinking ship. That's how I treat my employees when I wanna criticize them. 
I don't just like every time they do something wrong, get on their case. Never. Like, no. Like, uh, if that's all you do, you don't belong in an ownership role or you, or, or you don't belong in a place of power to employ people because uh, people need to be joyous and happy coming into work. Um, you need to give them a sense of, of just, you know, that, 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 that they're wanted and they're worthy. And uh, that's why when you just criticize people all the time and never point out the good, you know what? People are gonna start to absolutely believe it and then they're gonna just completely lack any self-confidence at all and it's just gonna fall apart completely. I've been there. So my whole point was that guy was just such a nice guy. And then yesterday I got to play a little golf again too, luckily, two days in a row, woohoo! And uh, I, I popped some blister on my hand because I've been playing and practicing a lot more golf. So my hands aren't quite used to it yet again, all calloused up yet. And uh, he like drove to his car and grabbed me a Band-Aid. What a nice guy. But anyway, we just got interrupted by a uh, flash flood warning. I've never experienced that exact type, so I'm looking forward to that. Yep, this is, uh, yeah, look at all that beauty. We're gonna go over here. It smells so good, you guys. Oh my God. It smells, as my mom would say, it smells so divine. <laughs> so divine. <laughs> I'm sorry, mom. I love you. Okay, so we're getting some nice smelly rain. Look for lightning that way, guys. Keep your eye on that. Let me know if you see anything. I gotta watch the road a little bit. Ah, forget it. We're not gonna watch the road. We're just gonna turn around and do a little more. Freak ah! All right, you guys. And you know what? We're gonna listen to some, some music. You know what I learned like my first year doing this? My first, because I used to play music in the background all the time when I wasn't talking as much. And uh, like uh, they would always say your your video is demonetized or not gonna be monetized and stuff. And like, dude, like I never cared. Like I, it's like, who cares, right? Like if you're doing it for a passion, then uh, yeah, like it's just icing on the cake, any extra help. but. I don't know where the hell I'm going with this, but I'm always off on tangents. It might seem like I probably do a lot of drugs, but I really don't. I, I used to. <laughs> Nothing hardcore though, as far as you know. Um, yeah. Yeah, I gotta get back out this direction, guys, because we gotta see this freaking thunder and lightning very, very frightening me. So uh, yeah, we're gonna listen to some music too, some nice classical music. Because I don't care about the monetization thing. They have a lot of music that you can post like through YouTube that won't like, like de demonetize you. But like, it's not like I, <laughs> I earn hardly anything anyway. It's like for like a really good video, it's like ten cents. It seems like, but it's just cool. Like that's the donations help though. Holy crap, they help you guys a lot. So thank you guys for everything. Okay, we're gonna do this drive again. We're gonna go the other direction so we can drive into the storm. Yeah, boy. Look at this guy speeding in the rain. All right. His license plate says B, change. Oh my God, look at how nasty it is over there. That is devastating looking. All right guys, we gotta get over there. We gotta get the over there, bro. Catch us some lightning. Catch us some lightning. And we're gonna be right here at Bear Mountain too. Oh my gosh, sick. Two of my favorite places. You know what, I heard this funny joke. Oh, there was some lightning. Listen, 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 listen. Maybe I lied. Maybe I lied. Ah. Okay, so this direction right there, that's where the nastiness is, all right there. Okay. We're gonna 
go into the golf course parking lot where I just left from so we can stay here and just look at the storm for a minute. So this is where, oh, there was some lightning over there. Okay, okay. All right, guys, we're just gonna, we're just gonna pull out right here and just chill like a veil. Just chill like a veil. And be with the windows open so we can, okay, so we're at Bear Mountain, guys. And we should be getting a big lightning bolt right there. We really should, so we're just gonna chill for a few. Yeah, that flash flood warning just popped up, guys. I mean, Dude, there's this guy who works at the golf course. Someone told me he's like some like TikTok, like big time guy. He's got like 900,000 followers and he works here at the golf course. He's this young kid named Grayson, probably like 20 years old. I can't imagine the type of money that young kid's making. Just insane, I'm so happy for him. He seems like such a cool little kid, or a cool young man. Not a little kid, I'm sorry, Grayson. I didn't mean to say it like that. That's cool, dude, keep up the good work. Oh! See that? Sorry. Listen, listen. Yes. What I tell you guys right there. Another one right above us. I thought it was. Maybe not. I think it's the camera focusing. That's probably what that was. Okay, guys, getting heavier. Ten seconds. Nine. Eight, seven, six, I'm so dumb. Five, four, three, two, really dumb. One, lightning. Come on. It's been going off in pretty quick intervals. Maybe it did, you hear the thunder? Jeez, it's really coming down. Up there. So guys, this is so awesome. I'm loving it so much. I even changed my voice because I get so excited about it. <laughs> Seriously, what is wrong with me? I don't know. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> guys, I really need I really need a life. I really need a life. I really need it, but I love doing this. And thank you guys for not making fun of me for being such a dork. I'm actually pretty cool. I'm actually pretty freaking cool. She. Okay, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on now, lightning, baby. Can't you see? No, we're gonna drive closer to this. Forget it. We're driving closer to it. I hope you guys are cool with that. Put on your raincoats, guys, because we're going up. Up there. I'm not playing on Look, and then this. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and thanks again. You take care, and it's August 10th, 2021.